Hi guys, it's Mansi. I am going out on a limb here and assuming that you've been waiting for my video, I know it's very narcissistic. Well, okay, so I thought that today I should um, come up with this kind of a sit down video even though I'm not technically sitting down. <laughs> I have a lot to say. I thought that I should uh, really talk about what it's been like for these last four years for me in medical school. I am trying something new, something very, very personal to me. It's not going to be that boring, okay? I would hate it for it to be boring because I really, you know, took a lot of days just thinking about whether I should actually make a video in my room because um, they tend to be boring. <laughs> personally for me so you don't have to be a uh, do we really want to watch that yes you do because i have some tips as well it's been a joyful ride which has had some up and downs no doubt <laughs> let's begin okay looking back on my first year i would say that i was the most uptight kid that you would ever come across i, I just wanted to study all the time and you have all this freedom to yourself which i did in the first year but i was not used to it so my parents had just you know fueled me up with all this energy to you know just look forward to the first year because it, it was going to be all worth it but then when i actually started my first year it was a lot different than what i anticipated so every test mattered every little test because you know in college of course none of that really amounts to anything i know that now but in first year it was uh, very important to score the best i could in every test and so i really just spent most of my time studying yeah! there was a lot of syllabus we had very little time which is always you know the case i mean you have anatomy, you have physiology, you have biochemistry and then anatomy you have other subjects like neuroanatomy and then embryology and you have to cover it all and you are not used to the medical terms so you have to you know groom yourself to be used to all of that <laughs> and I used to watch a lot of Netflix I mean that was um, my Hail Mary. <laughs> uh, Netflix and watching movies and whenever I had the time, Netflix was my stress buster. So, safe to say that I was <laughs> a social pariah. I would not identify myself as a very extroverted kind of person. Um, in general, in first year, that was a learning phase for me. Another highlight of my first year was experiencing going to the college fests and we were super stoked about attending every college fest that we could think of and we actually did and it was, um, I think it was really really fun. Uh, for people who are starting the first year in medical school, um, what are my tips to you? You have to come out of this whole uh, I have cleared the entrance exam and now I get to have fun paradigm because it's going to hit you hard. Because first year, let me just be very brutally honest, it's gonna be hard. It, it is different. It is different than other colleges. I'm sure you've heard of it a lot already. <laughs> so you have to get over this, but you don't have to be always so worried about every little thing. Yes, the tests matter. They, Yes, they will prepare you for the final exams, but you can give yourself a break and you should have fun. This is your learning phase. You will have more fun as you get used to it yeah! okay so another thing that i forgot to mention oh my god how did i forget that <sighs> keeping your attendance um another advice to first year students would be to you know talk to your seniors get to know them and ask them how the whole thing works in every college because in every college it's a little different um, how things work they vary so you have to you know get around the campus a little <laughs> and uh, another thing that i would uh, recommend is to just you know take it easy it's gonna be fine you're gonna get through you will pass the exams it's yes it's hard but it will it will be all right because second year is coming so basically what we call second year it's actually one and a half year which we call the second prof the professional year so second year was fun <laughs> all i did was not study i had a lot of free time i was not prepared for that 
people who are already in the medical professions telling you now you see how you're gonna have fun so i was like okay well shut up oh, I'm, i've been there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then second year was smooth we have a lot of subjects we have pathology we have um forensics we have oh my god i forgot micro <laughs> yes we have uh, pathology we have forensics we have uh, microbiology then we have pharmacology i mean uh, and then we have psm psm will be the death of you all <laughs> because uh it's like a glorified version of evs that we study in school or I would say a combination of civics and geography and EVS and then imagine it in the medical scenario. I don't know if that makes sense. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so it's basically about the health programs. Right. Anyways, so second year is all about having a lot of time and having doable subjects. They are not very hard. I mean, yes, pathology is fast. I was more used to, um, you know, handling and juggling the social life with um, the studying part. Sometimes I did wonder how I'm going to, you know, manage uh, all of this. <laughs> yes, because uh, I like going out. I mean, I like it. I like dressing up. I like going out. I didn't want to be falling behind on my studies either. And my first college trip was in second year. So second year was all in all uh, kind of uh, the best year, I would say for me and it is for a lot of students and also the grown-ups call it the honeymoon period <laughs> yeah cringe on that a little um, um yes it is called the honeymoon period of the medical professional life and i'm not kidding you can ask your you know grown-up doctor so the tips that i would uh really give to second year students would be to you know just enjoy it as much as you can because you have time and you know just don't fall back on the syllabus that's the only thing that you can do just cover the syllabus that is taught in classes and then you just you know you have to keep revising it at regular intervals because it's not like you have very less time it's gonna be a good year i think uh, for those of you who are just starting out in second year all the best <laughs> All right, so moving on to third year. Third year is a relatively uh, shorter year. Again, like first year, you have a short amount of time, but then the subjects are small. You have I, that is ophthalmology. You have ENT, ear, nose, throat, and then you have PSM. Personally, I hated ophthalmology. I hated studying about the eye because it's mostly imaginary. I mean, it's yeah. <laughs> it is so boring. PSM will drag on from the first year to third year. So I forgot to mention in first year that you also have that one subject additionally PSM. So in PSM you will have your postings starting from second year. But in third year it's going to be more elaborative. It's going to be more hardcore. Um, for me third year was um, okayish. I wouldn't I wouldn't comment much about it. But um, sometimes uh, it does get on your nerves that you do have the fourth year subjects as well and you have to start paying attention to them so we have uh, the fourth year subjects include medicine surgery uh, gynecology and pediatrics and these subjects uh, are going to drop like a bomb on you in fourth year if you don't just start studying try acclimatizing yourself to the subjects in third year because you will have time for me, third year did not include any subject that I was remotely interested in, so I, it was not exactly a very um, delightful year for me, but uh, academically otherwise it was meh. My tip for third year students would be try to uh, go over the fourth year subjects a bit try to start with some subjects like medicine because medicine is vast and in fourth year it's gonna be really hard for you if you do have time if you like uh, ophthalmology and if you <laughs> if you can get through ENTI and PSM without much trouble unlike me <laughs> so uh, you can you can really uh, just you know start with the fourth year subjects it's actually very necessary and needed for you to just you know start being serious about the fourth year subjects right 
that was for second and third year and now i um i don't really think i should comment about this year for <laughs> the fourth year that i'm currently in yes uh, we have these subjects again like i mentioned we have medicine we have surgery we have gynae and we have pediatrics uh these are very vast subjects and yes we have very little time kind of like in first year when i mentioned that you have little time on a lot of syllabus yes it's like a deja vu in fourth year only amplified i would say and then uh, you are expected a lot clinically and theoretically as well you have to perform well and it's just no breaking it i think the three years of medical school that you go through are to basically uh, get yourself moving to the fourth year all of the things that you have studied in the last three years are going to you know come at you in fourth year so study well in the first three years so that in the fourth year you don't have to think like oh my god anatomy again because anatomy is going to haunt you again clinically when you go out into the hospital and then you see the patients you have to have your basics cleared so i would all in all suggest keep revising the old things as well and it doesn't matter if you know the rarest disease it's all about the basics uh, i am currently in my fourth year and i don't think i'm the right person to ask for any advice regarding fourth year because i am still working my way out <laughs> i am still trying to figure out how to cope up with this I am stressed about it. You can see how stressed I am. Whew. <laughs> Making videos and shows. <laughs> yes, so um yes, I'm handling fourth year right now. So that was uh, my experience in medical school so far. Um again, like I said, it's been a roller coaster, a fun roller coaster. I've had a lot of fun and I wish all of you guys the best. and all the first year students don't worry you're going to be fine it's going to be great just make sure that you balance your academic life with your social life it's it's all that you need in medical profession if you like this video please don't hesitate to like hit like and please subscribe to my channel i will take suggestions any suggestions that you have on what my next video should be about please don't say i should be making more vlogs i'm going to hit pause on the vlogging thing a bit because i don't really go out much these days so and i hope you like this video i hope it wasn't that boring so yes i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was uh, insightful for some of you and um see you guys soon